Hey Cancer Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. We're going to basically do whatever you need to hear. I am using the Arts Hidden Secret deck as well as Haters Exposed, which is an Evil Eye Oracle deck. And there's another deck mis mis uh, mixed in here as well. I don't know why I can't speak y'all. Don't mind me. But anyway, yeah, so I don't know the name of that deck. So let's see. We have heart fog in reverse. This says mixed signals, blocked emotions, and messed up. It came out in reverse. So somebody could be getting clear about their feelings, their emotions. Somebody's heart could be opening yours or someone else's. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else for cancer? We have take a spiritual bath, okay? And then we have hating on your spiritual or psychic gifts. Somebody could have been trying to block your intuition, block you from loving, being open-hearted here. Some of you have spiritual gifts. Somebody's jealous of them. Spirit wants you to take a spiritual bath to get rid of that negative energy, banish it, send it back. We have foundation, established family and security. We have fantasy, daydreaming, imagining, and fantasize. And then we have mistakes, a misunderstood victim and lost soul. Wow, you got a business rival on your hands. Some of you could be readers. Some could be jealous. Can't stand your grind and hustle. And then we have twin flames mirroring shared feelings and reflection. And I feel like that's what a lot of this is about, okay? So, somebody here wants to build with you, okay? Whoever this person is, they're very stable, very rock solid. Somebody that wants stability. Somebody who wants like that, the traditional family, right? Twin flame energy. I'm getting a strong Aries for some of you. But you can have a Scorpio, an Aquarius. Somebody here. And this could just be somebody that you're around. That's a lost soul, right? This could be an ex. Maybe somebody that you work with. Or um, just anybody. Somebody around here that may want to be with you, see you moving on. But I also feel like there's a person in your um, maybe work space or something here. Somebody that does the same thing you do for a living that's jealous of you. I feel like this is two different people. Unless you were dating somebody at your job, then it's one person. Let's see what's going on with Hot Fog. So somebody's heart is opening. I feel like somebody's been trying to block a connection here. Yeah, it could be definitely be a work rival. Virgo energy. Nine of Cups because your manifestations are coming in. It's almost like you have a dream life showing up here, Cancer. That's Pisces energy. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Somebody wants to work on something with you. You make them happy. They make you happy. Wow, the magician. Gemini Virgo energy. I feel like, I mean, this could be somebody doing magic on your connection. What's the magician? Because I feel like somebody's been trying to block you from being happy. It could be an ex. It could be a um, peer, a fake friend, or whomever, a family member. Who's the magician? Why is the magician here? Yeah, trying to block you. So Libra energy, Gemini, Virgo. There's somebody here that is jealous. They want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you confused. Heart fog. You're not confused anymore, though. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're playing work for a while. So there's somebody around you. Who is it that cancer needs to watch out for? Because you need to get this person away from you. Wow. Could be a Leo. Show me more. This is somebody that has some kind of influence over you. Two of Cups, cancer. This could be a friend. This could be a sibling. This could be an ex-lover. Somebody that has strong feelings for you still. Who is this? The Chariot and the Seven of Wands. Look at them trying to block you from moving forward. Cancer Leo again. Somebody could be on a Cancer Leo cusp. Is it you? Are you doing it to yourself? I don't know. It could be you. It could be your own energy. Maybe you've been confused about what you felt. Because the Two of Swords can be like mixed feelings about something. So maybe you haven't wanted to mess with someone at your job or something here. I don't know. You haven't wanted to work on something with someone. Because the Nine of Cups can be like, I'm I'm single and I'm okay with that. Because somebody wants to partner with you. That could be your own fears, you know. I don't know. Because it does say bl blocked emotions. I don't know. Or well, somebody could have been doing that to you. What's going on with Take a Spiritual Bath? The star. Yeah, you need to heal. I'm just hearing truly cleanse your energy. Aquarius energy. 
Queen of Pentacles. You know, you have big things, wish fulfillment coming in your finances. Whatever you've been working on, Eight of Pentacles, putting your best foot forward, really dedicated, focused, working hard, diligent. It's about to pay off with some kind of wish fulfillment here in your money. But somebody's been trying to block this. Well, who's this doing this to? Cancer. The Knight of Cups in reverse. This is like a, a scorned lover. Somebody that has knee-jerk reactions. Somebody very moody. Somebody who um, is immature emotionally. Could be a Pisces. Ten of Wands in reverse. Death card in reverse. Yeah, so... You have left this to fade. You've ended things with this person. You've moved on with your life. But they can't accept the ending. Sagittarius Scorpio energy. What do they want? They want to talk. Eight of Wands. Three of Swords. How does that make sense? Sagittarius and Libra energy. What's the Three of Swords or the Eight of Wands? Six of Cups. So it's like this person really just kind of wants to stay in your energy field just to keep, to, keep, to keep hurting you, to keep you on a loop of everything going well and then they do something stupid and mess it up again. They don't learn a lesson here. But this death card can talk about like staying with somebody just to say you're with somebody. The kind of person that doesn't want to be alone. Knight of Cups in reverse. He's a simp. He's somebody who falls in love with the idea of being in love and he will be in relationships just so he won't be single. This person has a hard time being by themselves. They see you quickly moving on from this heartbreak. Yeah, the moon. The queen of wands. So even though it has felt uncertain, they know they have left you with a lot of wounds here. Um, maybe even some fears. They still see you as very confident and having your stuff together. Getting a lot of attention here. Aries, Cancer, Pisces. You got new love coming in, possibly. A Taurus. Somebody very financially stable, somebody you could depend on, a distinguished gentleman or sophisticated woman. Look at them. They're anxious about it. Why are they hating on your spiritual gifts? Four of Wands. They could even see your spiritual uh, gifts elevating. This is like a graduation. Aries Energy, 1111. Some of you are definitely highly intuitive. The hangman. They want to keep you stuck. They don't want you to elevate, grow. And graduate beyond them especially when it comes to love they want to keep you stuck in the headspace where you're thinking about them pisces aries taurus cancer scorpio temperance look what you're meeting twin flame the temperance card is a symbiotic relationship it's a harmonious relationship it's somebody that balances you out king of wands so Two fine people. You look good and your person looks good. Could be a Leo. Somebody's watching you and they could be watching you online, especially if you have a big presence online. Whoever they are, they're very generous. They have a lot of money. Strong Taurus energy. Aries as well. And we have Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. They could be younger than you, but they're financially stable. Let's get these messages here. We have the 1960s. This person could be born in the 1960s. What would that make them in their 50s right now? So the kings are 40 plus. So they could be. We have sleepless nights. Y'all got the nine of swords. I don't know what I deal with it, but it showed up. It showed up at the bottom of the deck, I think. But somebody's having sleepless nights over you. Mm. Or oh, some of you could have been experiencing that because this person playing around in your energy. We have downsizing. Do I see anything about downsizing? We do have a home here. Um, I don't see anything about downsizing that. Well, actually, the temperance coming out with the four wands could be a modest home because this can be mod I'm doing things in moderation. So some of you could be downsizing, getting a smaller home. I don't know. You could be empty nesters. Maybe you're older people that I'm reading for and you don't have any young children. Or maybe you just don't have young children, so you don't need all that space. Dead weight. Wow. Well, what are you doing with the dead weight? We saw it right here. You're getting rid of it. Ten of wands in reverse. Who's the dead weight? This Knight of Cups in reverse. This player, this promiscuous person. That's it, y'all. Oh, no, it's not. Let me get some of these. Beautiful. Lovely. Let's see. Change. The death card. Butterflies. We got the death card in reverse. But you're changing. This person is never going to change, whoever they are. Lost. 
So they're losing you. And then we have silence. <laughs> so this is someone you don't choose to want to talk to. You could definitely have them blocked because you're moving on with your life. And it's just as simple as that. It's like, it is what it is, baby. Move on because that's what I'm doing. All right, y'all. That's it. Dropping that dead weight. You're dropping that zero and getting you a hero. As corny as that might sound, that's what I'm saying. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment if you so choose. I appreciate hearing from you all. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you all most likely tomorrow. Peace.